All right, boys and girls. Well, here's part three. So as you saw in part two, I had it complete. Everything was done and uh, and was and was functional and looked good, but I didn't paint before I put together. Now, if I can give you any advice, if you're gonna be assembling this yourself, either get it painted if you can, if not, paint it before you attach it. Because right now, as you could tell, I'm, uh, I'm basically taking the entire thing apart the pieces that I just put together so that I can paint them without getting the hardware painted. So maybe call that a rookie mistake, but uh, that's why I'm doing this video. So you don't make the same mistakes I do. So just took the egg hutch part and the back door of the hen house and all the windows off and I'm about to paint those. And then uh, hopefully this is the third and final part and I can start showing you how the chickens love it. All right, let's check it out. Though it looks like not much has happened. This is a tedious job. Yep. I'm a terrible painter. Got all these parts over here. Oh man, I feel like I've been working at this for a long time. But you know what? It's gonna be worth it. Chicks like it. And standard procedure for me. Another late night, still didn't finish painting. Either I'm a terrible painter or this is a lot to paint. My wife helped me, got the door done. All the pieces that are off, we took off. But, you know, I'm trying to do it right. We want it to look good. I don't have to half butt it and redo it. So it's definitely looking a lot better. Hopefully tomorrow is the last day having to work on this thing and then we can pretty it up and call it a deal. All right, so I feel like the progress has looked a lot like the same to y'all, but it's totally changed to me. I got the windows up. I got to put the actual, uh, I don't know the name of this stuff, but it's like a plexiglass kind of, I don't know, UV protection. Put that up, got the door complete, it's on, putting hardware back on. Chickens are out here, enjoying it, loving it. Got the water bar working. It's pretty good stuff, let's check this out. Got the hen house up, I'm gonna remove that tape, put the windows on, put some extra rock around the perimeter. We'll be done. Well, my friends, that is a wrap. We are done. Paint is all on, all hardware, windows doors water barrel food hanging down everything is complete and i must say this thing is amazing now i got to redo the entire house to match that's what my wife said predator guards down doors done paints done all the stuff that i kept saying is done little chickadees are in there i don't know if you can see them yet but all in all, my experience was awesome. Definitely would recommend this coop to anybody who wants a very low maintenance coop for their chicks, for their chickens. I'll give you a quick uh, tour of all the little features right now. All right, the Dutch door. So cool thing is got these little carabiners that will lock up when we're done out here. You can open this bad boy up, open it up, say what up to the chicks, throw some scraps in there, throw some, some feed, whatever you want to do. And it latches right back in there. Got these little carabiners for the main doors and main windows. Opens up, nice solid door at the bottom. Lock in there, locks. Cool thing, there's a little wire. Just pull that, opens up, and good to go. This is the watering system that comes from Carolina Coops. Really cool, the instructions were pretty easy. Um, I mixed it up and put the pump on the wrong side and I was wondering why. I couldn't keep water in the pipe, but just simple physics, I should have figured that out by myself. Pump pushing water in, fills the pipe up, then the rest of the water gets pushed up the, the uh, hose there into the barrel. Keeps the water fresh, keeps it fresh and cool and cycled and the chicks, chicks love it. These things are really cool. I've never known how these work, but it's actually pretty simple. Good stuff. All right, so I did a couple of different things. Um, the ladder, heavy duty, goes up into the hen house. I don't have a door on the hen house. I don't know if that's necessary because this run is so secure and uh, I don't mind having them come out when they wanna come out. But the ladder's heavy duty. My son's already been climbing up and down it and I can climb up and down it. That thing is built very strong. Um, I got this little guy filled up with food. I know there's a lot of DIYs. Um, and I plan on doing that when they get bigger and need more food, but all in all, pretty easy. Cool thing on the windows. Once again, I got these little carabiners. I don't know if they're necessary in here though. 
So the windows are actually really clear. They can open up these little dowels go in these little holes and it holds it up so that there's plenty of ventilation in the hen house for the little girls and uh, possible boy. I don't know if I got a rooster or not. See, that's uh, that's the, the trick question is, I don't know, I got a couple of these little guys from Tractor Supply and they didn't have a clue what they were, uh, what they were, so I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. I got the Predator Guard from Home Depot. It was, uh, it was in the fencing section. So I just used some gardening stakes and staked it all down. I plan on putting a little bit more rock around the perimeter, just pretties it up and it's good, good uh, filtration for the water. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more bahia seed here. So maybe that'll grow, grow nice in and, and hide, that, uh, hide that wire a little bit. The egg hutch. So let's get a little carabiner. Beep, beep. I like that it drops down so you don't have to come in from the top like a lot of the coops and scare the hens when you're grabbing some eggs. Put a little fake egg. It's actually my son's They're playing around it already, but it's pretty cool. It's nice and tight in there. This is the main door to the hen house. Opens up nice and wide. Cool thing. There's these latches that hold everything really secure. You can open it all nice, nice and wide. Got it all painted in there. I'm going to fill it with the uh, industrial hemp since it is the deep litter system. On that occasion that I do need to clean this out, this just drops down, drops down nice and flush, which is awesome. I can just bring a wheelbarrow over here and just basically rake everything out when it is time to clean, which uh, from what I'm hearing, you don't have to clean it, but every year, two years. So that's gonna be nice. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching my one, two, three part chicken coop build. Took me a little longer than I thought, but all in all, I would give, Awesome. I'd give Carolina Coops five stars on this, built incredibly, and uh, I'll post some updates on the chickens and the eggs when that time comes. Peace.